an experienced yachtsman decided to bring his 11-year-old daughter with him to explore and enjoy a once-in-a-lifetime experience. He had planned to sail across the wilds of the western coast of Australia, but what would happen next to them truly made this trip of theirs be an experience they will never forget. 41 years old Glenn Anderson was an experienced yachtsman that loved to explore the sea. Glenn decided to explore a remote and quite dangerous coast of Western Australia with his only daughter Ruby, along with three other members. Soon the adventure became a quest to survive as their yacht met a huge accident that they never thought of. What happened? Glenn planned a sailing trip to spend more time with his daughter after he got a divorce from Ruby's mother. He wanted to make more good memories with his daughter by strengthening their bond and exploring the sea together. But things didn't go as planned because soon this adventure of the father-daughter duo became a matter of life and death. Glenn set off for his journey accompanied by his daughter Ruby and three other companions to explore the sea in their 11-meter yacht as they sailed from Bustleton to Bunbury back in May 2021. The first few days were adventurous and fun for them since they didn't experience any sort of complications. They were also having a blast on the yacht as they should have because who wouldn't like to explore the sea and enjoy the beautiful view of nature? Before we get into the case, be sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss any videos from our channel. Now let's get back to the video. The Calm Before the Storm Things were going pretty pleasant as the crew members of the yacht were busy enjoying the scenery. But this fun didn't last long because nature has always been unpredictable. The happiness and joy were soon starting to fade away. On the fourth day of the trip, the crew members started to experience a severe amount of seasickness, making them skip meals for the entire day. Somehow, the crew was not much bothered by the sickness, but nature had other plans. On the fifth day, the sea levels started to rise, which was pretty bad as they were traveling in a small yacht that wasn't able to bear such circumstances for longer. Due to the condition of the sea level, the crew decided to take a safer path so that they can protect themselves from any sort of danger. Glenn decided to sail his yacht towards Sandy Cape of Durian Bay. As he thought that it would be a safer spot in such a high sea level, but it turned out to be the worst decision of their lives that they will never forget. The Yacht Capsizes Soon, Glenn realized that he has made the wrong decision of turning the yacht towards Sandy Cape as there was a deadly broken wave approaching them swiftly. Initially, Glenn tried to sail along with the wave, but soon the sea showed its true power as the wave exerted unbearable pressure upon the yacht that it capsized quickly. Glenn's daughter Ruby was pulled by the sea wave so forcefully that it caused her leg to break as she fell into the water. The crew was already struggling from the impact of the first deadly wave, but they weren't prepared for what was coming next. To test their limits, another huge sea wave came that caused the yacht to fill with water and eventually sink into the sea. Soon, the yacht that they were sailing upon met its fate. This left all five crew members stranded in the sea with mere life jackets and the EPIRB that would send signals notifying others that they are in danger. They were worried that if they didn't get rescued in time, all of them are going to die a painful death. The sea levels were uncontrollably powerful and were rising continuously. They signaled via the EPIRB so that anyone in range could reach their exact location and protect them from dying. Glenn started to question himself on why he brought his daughter along with him and how he will manage to protect her in such a vulnerable situation, knowing the fact that she is seriously injured as well. The crew separates. The crew members knew that they would have to make a quick decision if they want to save themselves and initially opted to stick together. The other three members apart from Glenn and Ruby were two women and one man. One of the women saw a safe land nearby 
and suggested that they all swim together to escape the deadly sea waves. But that option was not possible for Glenn, since his injured daughter wasn't able to swim because of her broken leg. The group that decided to stick together separated as the two women along with a man decided to swim to the safe land. Glenn decided to move in the direction of the currents, hoping to reach a safe location. Another worst thing that happened to Glenn was that the remaining crew members also took the EPIRB with them, which would alert others that he and his daughter were in danger. What was supposed to be an adventure soon turned into a fight for survival between a father and his badly injured daughter, but Glenn didn't give up. The rescue team saves the other crew members. Their luck started to act up as the West Australian Water Police got the alert of the crew members and began to alert the local Durian Bay members to start rescuing the endangered. The rescue team began its work as they sailed the sea in the direction where the EPIRB alerted them, and due to the EPIRB, they were able to rescue the three crew members within two hours. Three of the five-member crews were rescued in time, but Glenn and Ruby are nowhere to be seen. It became a difficult task for the rescue team to locate two people in a large ocean without an EPIRB. Love of a Father In that vulnerable moment, Glenn realized that he has to protect his injured daughter no matter what. Glenn refused to give up and kept his daughter with him, consoling her that everything will be fine. This reminds me of the popular thriller movie Train to Busan, which depicts the undeniable efforts a father does for his child. Just like in the film, the father does anything in his power to protect his daughter from the zombie attack and even sacrifices his life so that his daughter can live. Similarly, Glenn determined to do anything he could to protect his daughter from dying a painful death. Although Glenn regretted his decision to take her on the yacht, he continued to comfort her so that she felt that everything would be all right and that the nightmare would end. But things were not looking good as there was no sign of help from anywhere and the sea wasn't stopping from raging either. Imagine being stranded in the disturbing sea along with an injured loved one with no device to alert anyone that you are in danger. Pretty scary, right? Time is running out for Glenn and his daughter. Glenn was extremely worried as he didn't know for how long he would be able to protect his daughter in such a deadly situation. Apart from that, there were no signs of help coming from anywhere either. The father-daughter duo didn't surrender to the high waves. Instead, they did their best to swim along and save themselves every time a bigger wave would hit their path. Seas are unpredictable, and a person should never underestimate the power of high sea levels, which Glenn pretty much learned the hard way. There was no sign of survival for them, as the high sea levels were not planning to calm down any time soon along with that. It had been hours since they were stuck in such deadly sea waves. Due to being so long in the sea, Ruby began to experience hypothermia that due to the extremely cold water temperature she was in. At this point, things were getting pretty bad, and the clock was ticking. Glenn knew that he needed help fast to prevent him and his daughter from drowning, which would eventually end up as they're dead. It's a matter of life and death. The rescue team wasn't able to locate Glenn and Ruby because of the direction they were in. This was because the team was sailing in the direction where the other three crew members were found and thought that Glenn would be in the same direction as well. But in reality, Glenn was in the opposite direction because the other crew members swam in a different direction when they decided to separate. This was causing a delay in rescuing the father-daughter duo, which was making the situation very risky for Glenn. He knew that his daughter is going from mild to severe hypothermia, and if they aren't saved in time, they will soon meet their fate. This was about to become the end of them both, but somehow, luck was on their side. The team finally locates Glenn and Ruby. 
Miraculously, the rescue team decides to sail in the opposite direction when one of the rescue team members felt sick and started to throw up. Call it luck, but that led the rescue team to choose the path that would lead them to Glenn and his badly injured daughter. The near-death crew members Glenn and Ruby saw a light of hope when they finally saw a rescue team sailing along their way. They both felt an unexplainable relief and regained hope that they will soon be okay. This nightmare of theirs finally ended after four hours of struggle was done to survive. It was like they have regained another life. The team quickly rescues them from the cold and deadly water waves. That's how miraculously Glenn and Ruby got another life after nearly dying. This made the expected to be adventurous to experience a quest to survive for them that they surely will never forget. What are your opinions about the incident? Do you find the story inspiring and miraculous? Let us know in the comments down below. That is it for today. Like if you found this video interesting. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We will see you soon, guys, with more strange and unusual cruise ship stories. Till then, take care. Bye.